Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. And to all you Canadians, happy Victoria Day. And to everybody else, happy Monday. Today, we're talking macro photography for your iPhone. So if you wanna learn how to do that, then stick around. Okay, so before we talk about how your iPhone can take macro shots, let's talk about what macro photography is. It's essentially taking a picture of something really, really small, but making it appear larger than life. It's a super cool style of photography and it can open up a lot of new perspectives if you might not have thought about it before. Okay, enough. So you want me to get to the good stuff. You wanna know how you can take these macro shots with your iPhone. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It comes with three lenses built into the existing camera system. So you have your wide angle lens, which is kind of what you use for your everyday normal pictures. You have your ultra wide lens, which is what you use when you want to capture more of what's around you. So really good for like landscapes, for example. And then you have your telephoto lens which lets you punch in a little bit more, zoom into the action without losing any quality. So for things that are a little bit farther away. So your iPhone 12 Pro Max actually doesn't come with a macro lens. So it's not capable of taking macro photos on its own. In comes the macro lens by Sandmark. And this is your tool to start taking macro photography type shots with your iPhone. So your iPhone has a wide angle lens with a similar focal length to this macro lens. But the issue is, is that your iPhone lens can't actually focus on subjects when you're super close to them. This is where this lens comes in handy. So not only can this lens focus in on objects that are super, super close to the lens, but it also offers a 10 times magnification meaning that you can actually see details that even the human eye is not capable of seeing. It also has multi-coated glass, so it's super durable and high quality glass. So you don't have to worry about sacrificing quality when pairing it with your iPhone to take photos. Oh yeah, by the way, this video is sponsored by Sandmark. They actually sent me this lens and the whole mounting kit to test out. But as always, I pride myself on bringing you guys unbiased information. So if I don't like something or something bothers me, I'll definitely let you guys know. So keep watching. Let's talk about the lens and what it comes with. It comes with two mounting systems, which we'll get to in a second. And it comes with two lens caps, one for each side of the lens. And it also comes with this lens hood. So typically lens hoods are designed to keep light out. This one is actually used for focusing and we'll get into that once we have the lens attached. Now let's jump into the mounting system. So there's two ways to get this lens onto your iPhone. The first and quicker way is using this Sandmark case. Now the case is matte black and super low profile and seems sturdy enough. You pop on the case onto your phone and then you'll notice that there's an aluminum threading around each of the cameras. So you can simply grab your lens and screw it into the threading for the wide lens on your camera, which is this one. So once you're done this, toss on the lens hood and you're ready to shoot. Now, me personally, I like the case that I already have on my phone. I've always preferred transparent cases. And if you're gonna pay more than $1,000 for an iPhone, you'd probably like to see it. So here's the alternative way to mount the lens. It comes with this clip and instead of screwing in the lens to your case, you screw it into the clip and then pop on the lens hood. Now you simply put the clip over your phone, making sure the macro lens covers the wide angle lens on your iPhone and you're all set to go. Now the only downside of this clip is that it covers a part of the front screen of your iPhone, which is kind of a bummer, but hey, you get to keep your original case on. So it's all about what you care about more, I guess. Now, when you toss on the lens and open your camera app, everything is gonna look a little blurry. So don't panic, this is totally normal. Macro lenses for phones don't typically provide any focus unless you get really close to your subject. 
So remember how earlier we talked about the lens hood being used for focusing? Let's talk about that now. The length of the lens hood is actually exactly the distance you need to be from your subject. So you can use this as a measuring tool to focus onto your subject and snap your photos. And while we're at it, here are a few cool examples of some photos that I took. And these were all taken on my phone using this lens. Also, taking videos with the macro lens has been a blast. It unlocks so many new possibilities. So I definitely recommend you guys take the time to experiment with video as well. Now let's talk about price. So Sandmark sells both mounting systems and the macro lens together for $89.99 USD. Now, I actually think that's a pretty fair price considering all the different things that you're getting. You're getting a brand new case, you're getting a mounting clip, you're getting the lens with all the caps and the hood. Comparatively, Moment actually sells the exact same package, but for $129.99 USD. So it's pretty much 50% more of what the Sandmark package will cost you. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're deciding which macro lens to go with. And for the price that you're paying for the Sandmark lens, I think you're getting excellent bang for your buck. And that's it guys. So if you're somebody that's looking to get into macro photography and you already have an iPhone, and by the way, it doesn't have to be the newest iPhone 12 Pro Max or whatever. You can literally have any iPhone and Sandmark sells a macro lens for various models of the iPhone. So it's definitely very accessible and very easy to get into. But if you don't want to invest a ton of money into buying a new mirrorless camera or a new DSLR and then investing in that super expensive macro lens, this is a very easy and very accessible gateway to enter the world of macro photography. And it's definitely something that I recommend that you guys check out if you're interested in macro photography. I know that I'll definitely be using this lens a lot personally to capture a lot more details and get those punched in close up shots that maybe I wasn't getting before with my iPhone. So it's definitely opened up a lot of creative options for me personally. If you guys stuck around until the end of this video and you learned something and hopefully you did, leave a like at the bottom of the page, smash it if you will. It really helps out with the algorithm and all that stuff. And if you guys are enjoying hanging out with me and you like me and photography and stuff, subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you guys here again and it would definitely mean a lot to me. Now, I don't have anything else for this video, so I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.